In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to build a customized one product Shopify store using a powerful new AI tool that does almost all the work for you. All you need to do is find a product you want to sell, copy and paste the product link into the AI tool, and with just one click, it'll generate a fully optimized Shopify store tailored specifically to your product. You can even use the same tool to create studio quality product photos and easily create upsell bundles to boost your profits. Now, not many people know about this method yet, but stores built with this AI tool have already generated over $35 million in sales. I'm Matt, and in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how it works step by step. We're going to build a brand new one product Shopify store from scratch, and it's only going to take us a few minutes. The first thing we need to do is set up our Shopify account. Click the first link in the description below to claim your extended Shopify trial. You'll land on this page here. Enter your email and then click to start your free trial. After that, you'll be prompted to complete a short onboarding survey and select a plan. You'll get a success message and then land on the Shopify dashboard. Once you're signed up for Shopify, next we'll set up the AI tool that will build our store for us. Click the second link in the description below to install it. Clicking that link will take you to this page here. Click Try Atlas for free, and then click Install Atlas on Shopify. This will take you to the Shopify App Store. Click the Install button on the left side of the page. Next, you'll get this pop-up. Click Install. When it finishes installing, you'll see this Atlas onboarding flow. Go to the left side, and in your nav bar, click the pin next to Atlas AI Store Builder to pin it to your navigation. Now that our AI Store Builder is installed, let me show you how to generate an entire Shopify store with only a few clicks. On this Atlas welcome page, click Start Setup. Then make sure Generate Store is checked and click Next. Here you'll be prompted to select the product you'd like to generate a store for. There are two main ways you can do this. You can import a product with a link from Amazon, Alibaba, or AliExpress. Or if you already have your product loaded into Shopify, you can check the box for Shopify and proceed. First, I'll show you how to import from AliExpress. I found this really cool retro leather messenger bag on AliExpress, so I'll simply grab the link for it, go back to our store, and then paste in the link then click Proceed. And that's all it takes to generate a store. It just needs to process for a few moments, and then that's it. If you'd rather import your product from Shopify, go ahead and click Shopify, and then select your product from the list, then click Select. After that, the store setup steps are essentially the same for any product import option that you choose. We just generated an entire Shopify store in just a few clicks. Now, let's see how it looks. First, we'll need to select which images we want to use. Here you can see it pulled in six photos from the AliExpress listing. We'll just continue with these first four. If you have other files you want to upload, you can add them here. But if you don't have any other images, that's just fine. Stick around, we'll generate some high quality images later. Go ahead and click continue. Next, we get to customize our store. But before we do, go to the right side and scroll through. You can see there's a beautiful preview here that the AI has assembled, including a photo carousel, custom description, even most common questions, which you can click on and see all the questions and answers. Atlas really tailors its generations to the product and makes it feel very handcrafted. That said, we have a lot of optimizations we can still do to make even more money. So that's why we're gonna customize our store a little further. First, pick a color preset. I like to pick a color preset that matches the general colors of the product. For example, this warm terracotta. And if you click it, you can see the site preview immediately changes. You could also click custom colors to pick your own. Next, click on the product tab to update product information. The first and most important thing to update is your store name. Click into store information and give your store a name. Next, click into basic product information. If you noticed, the AliExpress name for this product is this long thing full of keywords. It's not very pretty looking. Back in Shopify, you can see Atlas has actually changed the name to something a lot more palatable and interesting. Next, we need to set a price. For drop shipping, I highly recommend setting the price of your product to two and a half times the price it's listed for on AliExpress. That way you have a nice margin to still give discounts and make a profit. And if you scroll down on the right preview, you can see that our price has been updated to 175, but we have a compare at price for 350. It's little details like this that help improve your store's conversions and Atlas does it all automatically. Next up, check out your product description dropdown. Just like your title, this is a custom written description, not copy and pasted from AliExpress. You can keep it as it is or update it if you'd like to. Finally, go through the reviews, FAQs, and homepage tabs to dial in all your settings and make sure everything really feels like you. When you're done, 
Click Continue. Next, you'll be prompted to select a plan, but before you do anything, go to the top right and enter the discount code MEDICS, then click Apply. This will give you an automatic 20% off your total purchase price. That said, before you ever pay a dime, you do get a five-day free trial first. I recommend the Pro Plan because it gets you the AI product photo generator, bundle upseller, and cart upseller. Finally, if you want to save even more money, choose the annual plan to get another 40% off your total purchase price. Now that we've got the coupon code plugged in, annual plan selected, and the pro plan picked out, let's click start your five day free trial. Then click approve. Atlas will process for a moment, importing your store, and then you'll get a success message. Okay, check the clock. We just created and customized a one product store in under five minutes. That's the power of AI. Next, let's maximize our earning potential by optimizing a few pages. Click View Your Store, and you'll be routed to the Online Store Themes page, where if you scroll down, you can see that the Atlas theme has been added below. Click Publish for the Atlas theme, and then click Publish to confirm. Next, click Customize. This will open the Shopify editor. Here you can see our home page in the desktop view, but I recommend switching to a mobile view, because that's how most people are going to see your site. And then if you scroll through, you can see all the hard work that Atlas did on your homepage. Next, you can go to the top, click Homepage, Products, and then Default Product to pull up the product page we were looking at earlier. Now, before we get too far, we need to turn on the Atlas Editor. On the left side, click on App Embeds, and then turn on Atlas Store Builder and Atlas Cart Upsells. Now you have access to all the Atlas Editor features. As you're scrolling through your website, if you find anything that you want to update, you can simply click on it, and then settings will appear in the left side where you can make your edits and updates. In addition to making updates to individual items on your site, I also recommend a few broad changes, including updating your theme settings. To do this, go to the gear on the left side, and then there are two main theme settings I recommend updating first, starting with your logo. In the logo section, you can add a logo as well as a favicon. If you don't have a logo or a favicon for your website, I recommend logo.com. Logo.com lets you simply type in your business name and then it generates tons of logo options that you can choose from. Once you've customized the perfect logo, you can download all the files you need, including a high resolution version and a favicon. Add your logo and favicon to update them. Next, update your social media information. If your home page or product page includes social media icons for social platforms you don't want to link to, you can simply delete the hashtag or pound sign from the relevant social media field. To add your social media links, add them in the format specified below each field. Next, I recommend doing a check and going through the site and replacing any placeholder elements that you don't want to use. Simply click on the element and then settings will appear in the left side where you can make updates. When you're done making changes, don't forget to click save in the top right to lock everything in. So now we've got our store layout dialed in, but there's just one problem, the product images. We don't have enough. And the ones we have don't look that great. Before we launch, we need images that actually sell the product. Watch how fast we can generate them with AI. First, click the exit button at the top left of the theme editor to go back to the Shopify dashboard. Then click on Atlas AI Store Builder. And from there, click on AI Product Photos. Then click Start Creating Now. You'll be taken through a short tutorial. I recommend reading through everything because this will help you to really understand how to generate the best quality images possible. If you prefer not to read, there's also a video version of the tutorial you can watch at the end. When you're done, click Train Your AI Model. First, you'll need to name your model. I recommend tying the name of your model to the name of your product. So in our case, I'll name this Brown Retro Leather Bag. Next, you'll need to select a product. Click the button and then pick your product from the list. It will pull in photos from your existing Shopify listing, and you'll need to select at least four images that feature just the product. So in my case, I can't use this photo with the model, and we should avoid using this photo with a different color because that will confuse the AI generator. We wanna focus on one product variation at a time. If you don't have enough high quality training images, like in our case here, you can always upload more images. One trick I like is to go back to the original AliExpress listing and then look at reviews that have uploads of the product. 
You can save these images and then upload them to the AI image generator. When you download the images to your computer from AliExpress, they'll be in AVIF format. So you'll need to convert them to a JPEG or PNG before the Atlas AI image generator will allow you to upload them. I recommend using cloudconvert.com for this because it's free and fast. Simply upload the image and then select your desired output format. Next, I recommend cropping these images so that the only thing visible is the product and no extra background. You can do this for free on imageresizer.com. Back on the AI image generator, let's upload our new image. Finally, you'll need to select the training speed for your AI image generator. The longer the training takes, the higher quality the output will be. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the image quality with different training lengths. Here's the 30 minute model and it's pretty good except that it's not quite the right dimensions and there's this weird seam in the middle. Here's the 1.5 hour trained AI and again, pretty good, but not quite the right dimensions. And then here's the three plus hour trained AI. This is by far the most accurate recreation of the original image. And I think the lighting looks a lot more professional giving us an edge with our product photos as compared to the original AliExpress photos. Select your desired training speed and then click start training your model. Then click start training model again to approve the credit charge. You'll be taken to this page which shows the training status for your AI model as started. I've just jumped forward in time a little bit so I'll go ahead and click the refresh button and you can see that the training status now says succeeded and there's a new button under the actions column. Go ahead and click the button to use the AI model. Next, we need to write a prompt to create some images. You can click the Use AI Generated Prompt button to allow Atlas to write a really detailed prompt for you. So we'll go ahead and use their AI prompt suggestion. Atlas will then process for a few moments, and then it will present a prompt which describes the product in detail. Feel free to add or remove details from the prompt to dial in exactly how you want the images to look. For example, I want to generate an overhead shot looking down at the bag on a wooden background. We can also specify the lighting type. When you're happy with the prompt, click Generate Now to create your images. You'll be prompted to approve the credit charge, in this case just four credits. Go ahead and click Generate Now. And then if you scroll down, you can see that your images are generating. When it's done, it will present you with four different image options. You can click on the eye to see the image in full scale. Personally, I think this third image is the truest to how the product actually looks. So I'll go ahead and click the checkbox, and then we'll scroll down and click Save Selected Images. If you wanna keep generating images, you can click the Generate Now button again or modify your prompt to create more. To see your saved images, scroll to the top and then click the Saved Images tab. From here, you can check the box next to any photo that you want to download, and then click Download Selected Images. Finally, to add these generated images to your product, click on the Products tab in the left side navbar, and then click on your product. Scroll down to the Photo section, then click the big plus, and click Add Media to upload your image. To see all of your photos, click the plus followed by a number, and then click and drag to reorganize your product photos. When you're done making changes, click the Save button at the top of the page. So now that our product photos look straight out of a magazine, let's turn that visual appeal into bigger orders by building some irresistible bundles. On the left side of the page, navigate to Atlas AI Store Builder. Then in the submenu that opens under that, click Bundle Deals. Then click Create Bundle. There's four different bundle templates that work for a variety of situations, but for a single product Shopify store, the volume discount template works the best. Go ahead and click Use This Template. Next, give your bundle a name. I'll simply call it Messenger Bag Volume Discount Bundle. Scroll through the settings and fine tune the configuration. I recommend using the AI Setup Wizard. You can click Select Products, then select the product you wanna create a bundle for and click Add. Next, enter your cost of goods sold. This is the cost that you incur by selling the product. Remember, AliExpress had this product listed for around 70 US dollars, so I'll go ahead and put 70 as the cost of goods sold. Next, I'll scroll down and click Generate AI Recommended Offers. After a bit of processing, you can see the preview update with the color scheme that we used for the product earlier, as well as pricing information that's custom to the product. If you want, you can scroll down and click into any of the offers to make modifications, but I'm happy with how these look here. Scrolling back to the top, click Publish Bundle. When you publish your first bundle, you'll get the success message. Go ahead and click Take Me to My Store, and then click Customize. Next, navigate back to your product page, and then scroll down to where it says Add to Cart, 
And right above that, click the plus icon that appears, go up to apps, and then click Atlas Bundler. You'll see the bundler that we created earlier appear. Finally, click save in the top right to confirm your changes. All right, we've got our profit boosting bundles locked and loaded and our site is ready to make some sales. But before we can launch, we still need to activate payments, dial in shipping and make sure your site is visible. So first, let's activate payments. Click the button at the top left to exit the theme editor. Then click on home in the left side navbar, scroll down and then under setup Shopify payments, click activate. Then under Shopify payments, click activate Shopify payments. If you haven't verified your email yet, you may get this banner up top. Find the email and follow the prompts to verify your account. When it's successful, you should get this message that says your email has been verified. You can go ahead and close this tab and your inbox. Return to the Shopify payment setup and then refresh the page. Next, you'll need to submit some information about your business. Click Submit Details, and then complete the questionnaire. Once you're finished with the questionnaire, click Submit for Verification. You'll get a confirmation message saying your information has been submitted for verification. Next, let's set up our shipping and delivery settings. On the left side, click Shipping and Delivery. Then click on General Shipping Rates. Here you can see your product listed up top, and then scrolling down, under the Shipping Zones section, you can dial in your shipping settings. For the US, I recommend creating a free 12 to 20 day shipping rate, which matches the AliExpress standard shipping. If you want to ship to other zones outside the US, you can click Add Shipping Zone, and then click Add More Countries slash Regions in Markets, and then click Create International Market. But I'm going to skip that step for now, so I'll close this tab. Next, let's set up fulfillment so your customers actually receive the orders they purchase. If you're managing the inventory for your own products, you can skip this step. But if you're drop shipping, like with our AliExpress example, we we'll want to set this up so that your customers automatically receive what they order. We'll use a tool called Deezers to facilitate this. Go to Deezers.com. I've left a link in the description. Click Get Started, and then create a Deezers account. Then under what platform do you want to access, click Shopify, and then click Install. You'll be taken to the Shopify App Store, Go ahead and click install on the left side. Then you'll get this install app confirmation. Go ahead and click install. Click confirm to log in and authorize. And then it'll prompt you to choose a plan. We'll go ahead and just select the free plan. Next, you'll need to link your supplier, which in our case is AliExpress. Click the AliExpress button if you already have an AliExpress account, or if you don't have an AliExpress account yet, click the don't have an AliExpress account link. Once you're all signed up for AliExpress, go ahead and click the AliExpress button and then click Login. Next, click the Authorize button. Up next, click the Mapping button for your product, and then paste in the AliExpress link here for your product. Then click OK. You might be prompted to install the Chrome extension, but we'll skip that for now by clicking Got It. And you can see that the supplier that we found earlier has been pulled in and mapped to this product. Go ahead and click Save to confirm this. After saving, simply close this pop-up, and now you can see there's a little AliExpress icon located next to the name of your product. Now when orders come in on your Shopify store, they'll automatically be routed with Deezers and your supplier on AliExpress will ship them to your customer. Now that we have fulfillment set up, let's grab a custom domain so our website looks professional. Back in Shopify, on the left side, go to Domains. Then if you have a domain already, you can click Connect Existing Domain, but if you need a new one, click Buy New Domain. Then type in the domain name you'd like to use. If it's available, you'll see this green available tag, and then you can click buy. Enter your contact information and then click buy domain. Once you've purchased it, you can click see domain status. Next, you may get a warning banner saying to verify your email to finish the registration for your domain. Open up your inbox, find the email, and complete the steps. You'll land on a page that looks like this. Go ahead and click verify information at the bottom of the page. Once your contact information has been verified, you can close your extra tabs and return to your store settings. You can see here that even though I verified by email, it's taking a little time to process, and this is fairly normal. Domain changes can take 24 to 48 hours to process, so just check back later if you still see this. After setting up your domain, the final thing to do is unlock your store and make it visible for customers. Click the X at the top right to close out of settings. Back in the home section, click unlock store in the top right, and then toggle off password protection to make your site visible. Then click save in the top. You should get a banner that says online store is open to everyone and you can click the view store button to confirm this. And just like that, your one product Shopify store is now live on the internet. In the last few minutes, we went from a blank Shopify account to a fully branded one product store. 
AI built, photos polished, bundles live, and fulfillment on autopilot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.